I'm here at Manchester Piccadilly. Now the price of even getting an off-peak return from here down to London has now passed the £100 mark. That's way too expensive. But there's a cheaper way of doing it. I'm here to work out if it's actually worth taking twice as long for half the price. Normally you'd go to Euston. You would get on the Avanti that does it in about two hours. To use this ticket that I'm on today, I need to get onto this transport for oil service and change at crew. At least I've got my coffee. So the specific ticket I'm using is this off-peak return to Euston and it's TFW and London Northwestern only. Means changing at crew and the official change time is 66 minutes, but if I'm quick, I can make a six minute change. Hello, Jen from the future here. I'm gonna talk about the actual tickets themselves and the different options when either I get the 8.13 or the 9.13, whichever one I make. I'm a big fan of getting somewhere quickly, but a hundred quid to get on one of those, I don't think that's worth it. work I'm relying on this train running on time and we just left stop for two minutes late. It's getting foggy out there. looking like we might arrive on time despite running one or two minutes late throughout most of this journey. I've got a dash from platform five to seven. That's what makes this ticket not great. It's either that or waiting crew for an hour and nobody wants to wait in crew for an hour. Also this 175 has managed to go half an hour without setting itself on fire. That's good. Through getting interrupted by an announcement. It's looking positive. I can see my train. Loads of time. I don't know why I'm rushing. I've even got time to walk to the quieter end of the train. Welcome aboard this London Northwestern Railway service for London Euston. I don't know why I rushed at all. I've made it to the very front of this eight car train. We will it's be nice calling at Stafford. Is it done? Is it going to carry on interrupting me? Because I made this train, assuming everything runs on time, this is a three hour journey rather than the four hour journey it's meant to be. So an hour longer to save 50 quid. I'm liking this so far. The amusing thing is that right at the very back of the train, it was jam packed full of people because nobody wants to walk this far down. There is one other person in this carriage. We're on the move. This particular ticket that I'm traveling on today cost 50 pounds and 40 and you can only use it on transport for wales london northwestern and west midlands railway trains only there is a super off peak version for 39 pound that's a lot cheaper than the about ticket but the restrictions on that do apply on saturdays you can't get to euston before 11 which is actually similar to avanti's off peak ticket but when you compare both the 39 ticket and this 50 pound ticket to the 103 pounds off peak any permitted route ticket and this journey looks like it's only going to take an hour longer. I'm going to take the £100 saving every day. If you do use this ticket to go to Euston and you do try and get the six minute change at crew, um, that's technically not a valid connection. So if you do miss it, you won't be eligible for delay repay. You're officially supposed to wait the hour at crew for the one after. If you do make it, you're just lucky. Of course, if the one an hour later is then delayed, then you're eligible. Just a little consideration there. I guess while I'm here, 
I should edit a video. Jen points at Jen pointing at a CTC crane. Stafford. I suspect this train might get quite busy as we go down the Trent Valley. It is actually the next day. The train just got too busy yesterday to carry on making this video. Things that I have learned is it's near enough impossible to find anywhere quite remotely near Euston. Welcome to this random little park somewhere near Euston. Would I do it again? 100% yes. It's just not worth paying £100 to travel on a Vandy anymore. I don't know how anybody justifies £100 off-peak return when for just taking an hour longer you can do it for £50 return or even £30 return if you're not that fussed about timings etc. I know some people are going to come up in the comments and say, oh, get advances, get advances. But advances aren't that cheap anymore. And if you're like me, you just can't plan your journeys in advance. It just never works. I'm traveling back today. Um, one of the downsides is it's a Sunday. The last train that I can get is about 6.30. Yes, there are later trains from here to crew, but there's no later um, TFW services to get back to Manchester. My tip for getting from Manchester to London is to get the TFW and London North Western Railway only ticket, which is half the price of the Avanti ticket. It's 100% worth it. Start voting with your feet. I'm going to leave a link just here to the next video that I think you should watch, but for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.